Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another great Puerto Rican weeknight cook with me. I'll be making some long grain white rice, some delicious stewed white beans with ham, some salted and boiled green bananas, and my version of pollo al caldero, which is pretty much just chicken that is braised in a delicious broth that is then heavily reduced down into a delicious sweet and savory gravy. So. Let's get into it. All right, so I have a couple of chicken pieces here. I am using chicken drumsticks, but you may also use some bone-in chicken thighs or even a whole cut up chicken. Now, my chicken has been marinating in my fridge overnight, but you can do this um, in advance up to an hour. I added about half a teaspoon of this Lori's Casero Total seasoning, but you can also use Goya Adobo or any garlic based all purpose seasoning. I then added half a teaspoon of this Creole seasoning that I'm loving. Then I added a little bit of ground black pepper to taste. About half a teaspoon of garlic powder. I also added some dried oregano leaves. And then I added about half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon of white sugar. So whenever I'm cooking, the first thing I like to do is I like to start with the meat, especially if I'm braising the meat or baking it. I like to do that first and then I get into the rest of my dishes. So I have here a deep pan. It is set over medium high heat. I have an electric stove. For me, that is the number six. I'm gonna add a generous amount of extra virgin olive oil and I'm going to sear my chicken in batches until they are nice and gold and brown on all sides. I'm not gonna cook my chicken fully through. I just wanna sear it so that it can bring out the best flavor when I go to braise it. Now, I know this is pollo al caldero, <laughs> um, and I kinda, to be honest, I forgot to cook this in a caldero. I ended up using my frock, which I really love, but you use whatever you have. If you don't have a caldero, um, you can use something like this, like a Dutch oven, or if you have a caldero, go ahead and use that. So like I said, I am going to sear this on all sides until it's nice and golden. Alrighty, and now that all of my chicken is finally nice and seared, I'm gonna start the braising process. So I'm gonna add all of my chicken into my pan. All right, I'm gonna add a small bay leaf. And then I'm gonna add about two teaspoons of my fresh homemade sofrito. I do have two videos on how I make that. If you've never made sofrito before, please be sure to check it out. Then I'm going to add two teaspoons of tomato sauce. I'm using the Goya Spanish style tomato sauce. It has diced onion and garlic. It's really nice. I like it a lot. So if you can find it in your store, get it. It's really good. Then I'm going to add enough water to cover three quarters of the way of my chicken and I'm not gonna add any extra spices or extra salt you're gonna be very tempted to want to add some extra stuff at this point but please don't um, just because this liquid is going to reduce significantly and when it reduces it's gonna become very concentrated so all of that salt is gonna come through all of the spices is gonna come through very strongly so again do not be tempted to add more seasonings at this point you want to wait until the very very end all right and then the last of my spices i'm gonna add just a little bit of goya sazon i don't like to add too much i'm gonna add about a third of the packet but this is to taste if you want to add a little more or a little less it's totally up to you and if you don't want to use it at all you can use something like uh, ground annatto powder even some paprika will work so I'm gonna give everything a little mix. I wanna make sure that all of my spices are well combined. And I am going to cook this over medium heat. 
that's about the number four, between the number four or the number five, if you have an electric stove or a gas stove. And I'm gonna cook this covered for about an hour until it is nice and tender and very reduced. All right, so now that I got my bollo out of the way, I can focus on other parts of my meal. I'm gonna start off by making my beans and I'm gonna make white beans tonight. So I'm gonna add a little drop of some extra virgin olive oil so that I can saute my chopped cooking ham. I've had people ask me in the past where I get my cooked ham. Um, I got this one specifically from Target. I just kind of get it in like the deli section and I'm also able to find it very easily at Walmart in the meat section. So I'm just going to sear my diced ham until it is nice and golden. And now that my ham is nice and golden, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of sofrito. Here I'm adding about a tablespoon and a half. And then a tablespoon and a half of tomato sauce. I always like to add equal parts of sofrito and tomato sauce. But of course, this is to your taste. If you've made beans before and you like a little more tomato sauce or a little less, you make it however you like it. I'm gonna give that a good stir and saute it for a couple seconds until it's nice and fragrant. Now I'm gonna add about half a teaspoon of some white sugar. No, this will not make your beans sweet. It's just going to balance out all that savoriness. Then I'm gonna add a bit of chopped pimientos and stuffed Spanish olives, a little sprinkle of some dry oregano leaves. One packet of Goya Sazon con culantro y achote, and one packet of Goya Pork Sazon. And after all of the spices have been simmering for a couple of seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and add one can of great white northern beans. These have been drained. You can also use cannellini beans and um, navy beans. I think white navy beans, I think it is. Yeah, so you can use any kind of white beans you like. You can even use pinto beans, and this recipe also works well with red beans. Then I'm going to add one can full of water. Gonna give everything a good stir and I'm going to cook it covered over medium low heat until it is done. So I'm gonna do this for, or I'm gonna cook these rather, for about 25 minutes. And no Puerto Rican meal is complete without some rice. Here I have two cups of long grain white rice and three cups of water, about a tablespoon of a neutral oil and about three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. I'm also gonna boil up two green bananas. I chopped off the ends and I have here a pot of salted water. I'm going to boil these for about 20 minutes once it comes to a boil. And I'm gonna boil them with the lid on, but I'm gonna leave a little gap to make sure that steam escapes so that it doesn't boil over. So it has been about an hour, like a little over an hour since I started cooking my chicken. And as you can see, it is done. Look how much that broth reduced. It reduced down to almost like a Puerto Rican barbecue sauce because the sugar made the sauce a little sticky and a little sweet. It is so, so good. I cannot emphasize enough how amazing this chicken came out. My family 
loved it and guess what this is actually the very first time that i've ever made pollo al caldero and i decided to record it because i thought you know what maybe it's gonna come out really good you never know and it did it came out amazing i really hope you guys try it and now that my chicken is done let's check on my beans so I can always tell that my beans are done because the liquid will reduce a little bit and the broth will become a little thick from the starch that's in the beans. And then I like to top it off with a little bit of cilantro just to give it some extra color and because cilantro is delicious. And now I'm gonna go ahead and peel my green bananas. And from the moment it started boiling, it took about 25 minutes for them to become nice and tender. And I like to boil them with the skin on because it makes peeling so much easier because I don't know if you've ever tried to peel a green banana, it is pretty difficult and it stains your fingernails. The only thing you have to be careful for when you boil them with the skin on is it's very hot. So yeah, so just be very careful but they came out perfect. And even though I salted the water, I still like to top them off with a little extra salt, but you do it to taste. And just like that, dinner is done. This meal was phenomenal. I really hope you guys try this chicken recipe. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you're gonna try it, and as always, if you have not subscribed already, please do so. Also hit that notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.